This is an update on the Progressive Unionist Party's, I suppose what we would call our challenge to the Belfast City Council's uh, restriction of the flag. Now, we did say before Christmas as party leader, I outlined what we were going to do. Uh, we believed that the process that was used to get to the democratic decision in the City Hall was flawed. Uh, tonight, I want to announce uh, that we have done that. We had a party worker who actually challenged this on the 4th of January followed by the Progressive Unionist Party's challenge and another member's challenge on the 11th of January. We are in a position now where we'd want to say to people uh, that we want people to support our, pro our, our project and our project is a simple one. What we will do is that we will make clear and we will make these letters available to people through social media and other community outlets and we want people to address those letters with their own name and address and we want them to sign them and bring them to City Hall. We believe that this is a viable process. We also believe that this is a way that people can actually show their support against the restriction of the flag. All people can take part in this. Uh, it's a very legal process uh, and it's one that will not disrupt anybody other than the person having to bring the letter. We would also suggest if you want to send a letter in, uh, you could do that. We would be asking people to actually hand them in and ask for a receipt so that people actually get a receipt back to prove they put it in. This is a very, very important process uh, and we believe that this is one that we want the community to do. We want thousands of people to send letters and we would also like not only people in Belfast but people across Northern Ireland to do this because we believe that Belfast is the capital of Northern Ireland and therefore it affects all of the citizens of Northern Ireland, not just Belfast.